Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Chapter 5 of my Fire Emblem 6 Random Deployment Iron Man. Let's hope things go a little better this time. So, I still think the strategy I tried last time is pretty reliable. Um, the Rutger getting hit with a 1% crit from the Nomad was very unfortunate. From experimenting around with it, one potentially better strategy um, from a pure reliability perspective is to have Shanna rescue Marcus onto this fort. So in order to avoid getting killed by the um, Hand Axe Brigands, what she has to do is fly down into this corner, move up, drop Marcus on the cor fort, retreat back, and then she can go rejoin the rest of the army. And then Marcus with the Hand Axe on a fort, um, and like using the Silver Lance for the Mercs can reliably murder everything around the boss area. And then you can have Shanna Fairy Rutger over to kill the boss. And that lets you avoid dealing with like the fighter and uh, Merc up here who don't move. The reinforcements get baited to the village. Um, so. And, and then, you know, you have the boss area clear when you get there. But that, honestly, I'm not even sure if it's more reliable. Um, because that means you need to be able to kill the enemies charging you without Marcus. So you can camp the forts and then slowly retreat back. The other thing you can do to make that strategy a little quicker is you can set, like, Lou or Walt or someone um, next to the gate. And as long as they don't end their action there, then the gate doesn't actually open. So if you rescue drop them there, they can still enemy phase stuff. And it's safe because they only end up fighting one dude at a time. But, yeah. Uh, overall, I'm not convinced it's significantly better. And since we have 20 turns here, um, with Dragon getting... Yeah, so if you didn't watch the last video, I nerfed Dragon. He now shows up five turns later. Um, the B rank tactics requirement. And initially there's only one dragon and the second one doesn't show up unless you somehow survive the first dragon for 10 turns so we have a little more time before people start dying and once dragon shows up it's not like the whole party is going to be killed in four turns so even if things go badly here they shouldn't go as badly as last time also our Rutger has five luck now, so he will not die if he is shot by a nomad, because they all have four to five crit. Alright, so I think to start, Rutger should be able to tank both of these guys, so we will rescue him onto the fort here, because he will also deal more damage than Marcus, because, yeah, they have nine speed, and Marcus only has twelve, so he cannot double. So, I think it needs to be Shanna or Clarine that drops him. So, we'll move up here. Iron Sword is fine. And he has a Vulnerate. That's good, too. Wade might as well rescue, and I gave him weapons already. That was smart. And Clarine's not going to have anyone to heal this turn, so we can take... Actually, if we stick Lou on the mountain, yeah, he will probably bait the Hand Axe guy. Because Lou still has low HP, but he has enough HP that he's not going to die to a Hand Axe, so. And unlike Rutger, he will actually counter. So yeah, unless the first guy hits Rutger, the other one should go for Lou. So to drop him up there, uh, I need to move Merlinus. Actually, I guess I could take, have Alan go up there. Alan has all the stuff. Yeah, I should see if there's anyone's inventories I need to update. I think I did pretty much all the trading I needed last map. I guess Marcus can get rid of the halberd. Um, Lance could maybe use another javelin, but it's not going to do a lot this map. Ah, lot needs another iron axe. And I have one for him. And we're all out of bone right? 
Yep. All right. Chad is good. Shanna is good. Roy is all right. Okay. Good stuff. So... Wait. There we go. Just hang out there, outside of enemy range. Uh, maybe we can rescue Roy forward, since Roy or Deke, they're both among our better combat units. Actually, how do they compare? So Deke has... Uh, nine, 9 strength, 12 skill, 11 speed. Roy has 1 less strength, uh, 3 less skill, but the same speed, actually. And 1 less defense, but uh, 6, or 2 less defense, but 6 more HP. So, they're actually pretty comparable. It would be good to get some levels on Deke, just so I can um, promote him if necessary in 8x. I want to have as many Henning killers available as possible, because Henning can really be a pain if you're randomly deploying. Although, he'll probably get some levels. I mean, I guess he might not get deployed until then, so it doesn't hurt to give him some levels now. And yeah, let's bring Deke up. His extra skill is also useful for reliability. I go here, and then you can take drop. Good. Have Ellen ready to heal. So we'll we'll take this a little safer than what we did last time, probably, and just hang out at the forts until the charging enemies are dead. We can even retreat back if necessary to separate the nomads from the fighters. And we can just wait over here. Yeah, all right. Let's go. All right. Rutger doing good work. And yeah, as expected, goes for Lou. Which doesn't make a big difference, but it's nice to have some extra damage on him. La la la. All right. So we could... Maybe give this to Deke. Oh yeah, Deke does exact damage. Nice. And he's a good guy to have on the fort. Although, uh, let's see. You do have seven crit. And Deke does not have the luck for that. Yeah, the Merc is still scary. So... 11 damage, okay. So Rutger can probably kill this one and then get rescued out. He might even... Yeah, he can't reliably kill the Steel Axe guy. So I think we just enemy phase the Steel Axe dude. So you only have 13 attack, and on a fort, both of these guys have 9 defense, so even with a crit, you only do 12 damage. Or, what am I saying? No. Uh, 13 minus 7 is, you, you do 18 damage, so I mean, you're not killing with a crit, but it would still be nasty. So we could retreat past the fort, because yeah, there's no way we're killing this guy. And if we can't kill the Steel Axe guy... But Lou actually doubles him. I don't know if I have enough rescues to get everybody out of there. But, yeah, I could... blast him with Lou. And his hit rate is also what, 67. So actually, he cannot hit Rutger. 
and he has 10 hit on Deke. So I can probably just bet on this guy not hitting. So I don't want to be in range of the hand at, well, I, I want to be on the fort also. So I need to rescue with a cav and then drop with somebody. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, so Alan should be able to do it. Yep. And you only have one range, yeah. Just making sure. And lot can drop. So if I send Lou up, oh yeah, he can go up here, and then Shanna can rescue. And then this guy should just die on enemy phase. Cool. Not gonna matter for a while, but... Let's see Emma. Uh, nobody to heal. Honestly, let's just stick you back on the same mountain. It's a good spot. Uh, actually, we can work on... Let's stick clearing up here, so she's in a good spot to rescue. Also, she builds her support with Rector. Uh, let's get Roy in here, because Roy is definitely capable of helping out. He, he's almost as good as Deke here. Just out of range. Let's get our calves up. Ellen back a bit. If we need to retreat, Boris can be a liability, so he's just gonna hang out over here. Because he's too slow to run away from even the fighters. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Goes for Deke, does not hit him, dies. Cool. There was a slight risk there if Deke got hit by a 10 and then got hit with a 2% crit, but I was willing to take that risk. Well under 1% at that point. Okay. So, Merc is always a pain. 9 damage with Lou. Rutger can't double. What's our record at? Here's only at 16 speed. Yeah, so one point off from doubling. And he's going to double most of our dudes. Deke can hit him without getting doubled for eight. Oh, it's only 1% crit. Okay. Wait, you have seven crit. Oh, he has six luck. Oh, he leveled up, but that makes sense. So then behind, this guy has an Iron Axe, but also a Hand Axe. And we don't really want to be in range of the Nomad, so this guy just has a Steel Axe. We probably want to end the turn on the forts again. I guess Shanna could also maybe contribute against this guy. She doesn't get doubled with Iron and deals 7 decently reliably. So that's an option. So I kind of like leaving with Lou here since he doesn't get countered. We could move someone out of the way, but if we kill off everyone except, or if we kill off these two guys, then Lou won't need to be rescued from that side position. Let's go for this. Okay. Actually, can we use Roy here? So, Roy does seven. Hmm. 
Well, Roy is also tanky. So what if we hit with Roy? Then let's see if we can feed this to Shanna. Ooh, but then that leaves a lot of... There's not many spaces to attack the bandit from. Huh. I'm guessing Walt is too weak to kill. One damage off. Oh, I do still have Marcus. Marcus could probably contribute here if I don't want to use him for rescuing. Maybe I just use Deke here. Yeah, we'll give it to Deke. Okay. So yeah, Rutger... I could Killing Edge to try to maximize the chance I just kill him. Actually, Wolt deals six. So if the Killing Edge doesn't kill, there's a good chance Wolt could get a kill there. Alright, cool. So he is dead. So then that means we should be able to... Okay, yeah. So actually, they were already out of Nomad range. So maybe I don't even need the forts here. Because the only person they're exposed to now is the Steel Axe Fighter. And both of these guys should be okay. Uh... Can't one-shot Rutger. So yeah, this should actually be fine. And then we maybe retreat next turn. Uh, let me not put Chlorine where she can be attacked. Okay, I'll go for Roy. So I guess I could have tried to make him go for Rutger. That might have been better. Actually, maybe I can still do that. So, I can probably enemy phase the uh, Steel Bow Bandit with Marcus. And you get way down to 9 speed, I still can't double you. I, I shouldn't still have the Halberd, but I don't know. So that, then I can maybe get some damage in. Well, Bandit's still going to want to go for Roy on... The forest there. Actually, Marcus could even come in here and attack this guy. Alright, then Roy might be able to kill him on enemy phase. If not, he'll at least be much weaker. And Marcus should be fine. He's out of range of the nomads there. So, yeah. Marcus will be fine. I get some extra damage. And then Marcus is in a good position to rescue somebody, too. Alright. That looks pretty good. I could try to jab with someone, but that's not very likely to work. Oh, I could support with Roy. I don't think I need Roy Allen support, because Allen should be fine as a unit on his own. I kind of want the supports for when um, my team is bad and I need Roy to carry, then having some of the bad unit support with him will at least make it a bit more manageable. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. So I can stick Shanna all the way up here. Ellen can hang out with Lou. Nice box formation. Let's go. Yep, goes for Roy and dies. Marcus can weaken that guy a little. Oh yeah, those guys are crossing. I, I put Boris too close. And that's fine. Alright. Now we got a plan for these nomads. Even without crit chance, they're still scary. Okay, so Rutger can pretty reliably one round this one. And then we can potentially rescue him back. 
Let's make sure this hits to start. All right, that is a good start. Marcus deals mad damage. The Silver Lance, he could deal 18. Which is not enough for Roy to kill. Not quite, actually. Oh well, you only deal 7. You could deal... Okay, so theoretically Silver Lance plus Iron Lance from Alan would kill the other Nomad. But that's kind of risky. You only have 10 speed. So you don't actually double Alan. But we still have these fighters here. Uh, boxing in is also not an option because no one can get on top. So I think the play is probably to retreat here. If we go back to the fort, Maybe we need to kill one of the fighters. Roy deals 10. Okay, so Roy plus Lou could get this kill. And then do I have enough rescue power? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, maybe. So I might not be able to get all the way back to the forts, but can I make a wall of units that survive the bandit plus... Well, this guy is Steel Axe, actually, so his potential damage is really high. Still, though. Uh, that's only 16 attack. So... Rutger is only taking 9 damage, plus the Steel Axe fighter is... 24 minus 7 is uh, 17. Okay, so Rutger lives, Steel Axe Fighter plus Nomad. Marcus, of course, lives. And Roy would also live. So actually, I can leave Roy and Rutger up here. So I'd really just need to rescue Lou back, which I could do. Okay, this should be workable. hit. It's a 97. It should be fine. Alright. Actually, if I can block off the Steel Axe guy, Lou can even tank the Nomad. And our, our Lou is as fast as the Nomad, yeah. So actually, if we stick, like, Deke up here, because Deke should also be able to live. He has, like, the same defensive stats as Rutger. So, I mean, less speed, but that doesn't matter here. Oh yeah, and he does well here. Okay. Oh, actually, if I stick Marcus here... Okay, Marcus doesn't one round, and then I should be able to give a kill to Deke. And block off the Nomad. Oh! Or Marcus could just get the kill. That works too. Alright, we'll still block off with Deke. And yeah, if you want to go for Lou, feel free. He still might want to go for Roy. Not sure how he's going to weight those two against each other, but if he goes for Roy, that's fine too. This guy only has four crit. Everyone here has plenty of luck. Obviously don't want to leave, like, Shannon range. I think Clarine could technically live a hit, but no real reason to give him more tempting options. So, I'll just have everyone else stay just out of reach. Yep, goes for Lou. So now we have an easy surround, even if we somehow don't kill. Uh, let's try Alan first. 
Alan's not going to be much use against the later enemies. Uh, let's go deep. Nice. Lot can probably chip here. Maybe. If he can hit something. Nope. Oh, not a big deal. Marcus can go forward to start weakening these enemies. Let's see. Uh, Lance. How about you? Alright. Nice hit, and let's give the kill to Lou. Nice. More magic and speed. That's very good. How much speed does Dory actually have? 10, and he's not getting weighed down by Killer Axe yet, so we're not doubling Dory, but still, useful to have. Uh, do move when I get in your range? Probably. But Wrecker will be fine here. The only thing that will have crit on him is Mercs, and they're generally not going to one round, any, or one hit him anyway. Uh, I guess we'll just stick Roy here. Everyone can just keep charging forward. So yeah, this is going very smoothly. Only turn five. Run away, boars! We'll see if these guys catch up to us before we finish. the enemies take the forests. Okay, so Rutger can do good damage here. Get a level up. Levels on Rutger are good too. More speed. So he'll double Dory easily. Uh, Lou cannot reach, unfortunately. I'll just Shanna Fair here. Okay, she does double. Her hit is awful. Well, at least not good. I wouldn't... So we could actually probably pull a surround off on this guy. Well, no, because he can retreat through the Merc. Marcus, one rounds. Okay. What's Chad do? Three. Not enough to give the kill to Roy. Also, he gets one shot. Uh, what about Wolf? Uh, I mean, why not? Oh, darn it. I could have done Marcus with the hand axe, and he wouldn't have doubled. So close, Roy. So close. You'll get it on enemy face. Well, no, because he'll hand max. Next turn. Defense, okay. Roy is getting tankier. Still nowhere close to the Roy that I had last time. But I appreciate the thought. So, Marcus does not care about being in range of this guy. Uh, this, this, these mercs are annoyingly dodgy. I am fine with using Silver Lance here. Hopefully we'll get another Silver Lance next chapter. Depending on who gets deployed. Uh, actually, let's grab Gant's Lance. Uh, draw ourselves an efficient path. Uh, what do we say? We, we have two Iron Lances. We don't need two Iron Lances. I could move your one for him. 
Cavs charge. Uh, keep Deke moving. You can save the forest here. Goodbye. Oh, interesting. Going to the Marcus. Uh, let's give this one to Lou. Or not. Okay. Oh, actually. So these guys are scary to Rutger again, because they have crit. Deke can't reach again. So let's give this one to Rutger. Whereas Roy has a luck stat, 6 defense, 33 HP. Oh yeah, the Nomad is also going to start getting faded. So maybe we deal with these the Mercs first. So we can rescue Rutger and Lou out of there. How much can Roy take? So four, So none of these should double him. So 14 is 8 damage, 9 damage, so that's 17, and 13, so that's 30 damage. So yeah, Roy can survive a hit from all three. Rutger like there? Or no, uh, drop Lou like there. Well actually if so if we stick Roy here then he's gonna be blocking them. Also Lou has luck, so he could take a hit from one of them. Actually, oh yeah, Lou is fine where he is because he should be able to tank the 15, and he has enough speed to not get doubled, so. Yeah, I can just leave Lou here. If they want to go for Lou, that's fine. Okay. So I just need to drop Rutger off somewhere safe, and we'll be good. I mean, actually, I guess Rutger can take one of them also. Because, yeah, even with a crit... You're only dealing 21, so we can stick Rutger a little closer, too. Alright. Let's get some staff XP. with Lou. Let's start. Uh, if we can hit this, that would be a good kill. Nice. Okay, that's pretty good damage. And a nice dodge. 
before I can get the kill. And now there's just one. Uh, Marcus can take out half his HP. Actually, this guy's kind of scary, because he has 19 attack, and he still has 7 crit. And both Rutger and the Cavs have bad skill. Or bad luck, I mean. Shanna has good luck, so she is alright here. Maybe we move in with Shanna. She's not going to hit for a lot, but... And... Deke also doesn't have enough luck. So we might need to rescue Deke out of there. So I guess... If Shanna sits in front of Rutger... That will be okay. And then we just need to move Deke back, like, one space. Okay. And then, yeah, we can easily kill this guy next turn. Heal up Roy. Fours has finally caught up with the gang. <laughs> Shanna Chip. Oh boy. That was incredibly stupid. Alright, so there's going to be a bit of a cut in the recording here, because I, I got kind of uh, tilted after that Chana death, took a break. It is a new day, I am back, I am fresh, and we will recover. Um, yeah, losing Shanna is unfortunate, having a flyer would be quite useful on a lot of the coming chapters, but we can survive without one. We might not have rolled her anyway with the random deployment, so uh, she is... Uh, unlike um, Rutger or Lou, she's not necessary for this chapter, at least. Um, so, I'm sad. Chan is my favorite, but it'll be okay. So, that said, let's deal with these guys. You have a steel sword, so you're way down to 10 speed. Uh, okay, Lou almost kills. can't reach well. I don't think anyone can actually reach the brigand. Well, I guess Lot does okay here. But I can probably make them come to me in the forest. So Rutger... Rutger still faces crit, so I don't want him to attack. Either. So maybe Lou can weaken. And then... Uh, one of the sword boys can kill. I can have Marcus weaken the Nomad. Let's use the Silver Lance, because we want to go quick. Okay. And then, yeah, if I kill the uh, Merc, I can wall off the Nomad, and like, Lou and Marcus and Sword Person should all be able to survive a hit. Wrecker doesn't face crit from these Nomads, because he got luck. So... I guess you're level 4. You're level 3. So we'll, we'll try to give this one to Roy. Got him. And then... You're both level 7. Let's give this to Rutger. Alright. Three, four... Is this, this is plain. So he can get all the way here and attack to here. Nobody needs healing. Okay. So, run away, boars. Run away, 
Chad, Alan, Lorraine, uh, so I could have, like, Lot stay here with a hand axe to chip him on enemy phase, and then, uh, Walt, I guess, could also technically do that, although, so they have 8 speed. Get us out of here. Let's just move the cat pipes forward. Uh, okay. It's a lot with a hand axe. Uh, 14 on 3, so he's dealing 11 damage versus you're dealing 8. You have 89 hit and you have uh, 65 okay. versus 18 avoid. So a lot will be sub 50 hit for a bit of extra damage. But he's also a lot tankier. Uh, let, let's go with lot. Everyone will kind of be around. Oh. At least he doesn't get doubled. Yeah, that was poorly calculated. Alright. Well, someone can probably swoop in to deal with these guys now. 12 damage. That's not the greatest thing I've ever seen. So actually, a lot of my sword guys can't get back there. I could send Lou back. That's pretty good damage. Uh, Deke can't quite reach. We could just keep running, I guess. Because we're the same pace as him. The reinforcements here, do they start turn 10, turn 12? Okay. Alright, turn 12, yeah. So we have a little bit of time, because we can move to block the fort. We don't have to get there this turn. Because, yeah, I think we might have a hard time. So, Lot deals 13 with So So Hit. Alan deals 12 with So So Hit, and he also dies in two hits. Because there's another friggin' coming. With a hand axe, you go down to 5 speed, which means you would get doubled, so. I can't have Wade hand axe. Lot, I guess, could take on both of these guys. Uh, that one deals 14. Does the other one have the same attack? Attack 19, attack 21. No, Lot cannot take on both of them. Okay. Yeah, these guys are, are surprisingly scary. Well, fours is not going to be good here. Fours can keep on going. Lou is one of my better damage, and the hit rate is bad against him, but I don't want to expose anyone to both hand axes, so maybe I let him go for Lou. Well, I don't know how much control I have over where he goes on enemy phase, but I think I just move everyone forward maybe keep my sorties back a little. Because no one should get killed by this one brigand. And I, I do need to go kill Dory. And ideally be able to block this fort down here. So I think I should send Marcus down to be ready to deal with these guys. So he can probably bait uh, one of the fighters up here, yeah. 
that's a good start. Uh, actually, could I put him there? Oh well. Alright, one of those brigands are not perfect. Alright. So, Rutger is good against the boss, and against the brigands, so I think Rutger should go down. Deke could stay to help with these guys. I don't think I want to use Blue against the boss. I could leave Blue here. Let's charge Wade out. So, he's got an Iron Axe equipped. He has to stick with that to not get doubled. Uh, I guess this is a time for mend. Actually, I could just rescue drop Wade, because I don't really want them going for Wade. Oh wow, Lance cannot get very far. One, two, three, four, five. Lance should be able to get out of reach, though. So I can probably drop Wade on the fort next turn, because Wade is not very useful, so blocking a fort is a decent use of him. So I think I leave Lou here. Lou... So he'll either go for Lou or for a lot, and I'm okay with either of those. Uh, one, two, three... This is four, five. Okay. So, send Roy down here. One, two, three, four, five. Retreat over there. Oh, I could drop Wade and then he can move himself. Yeah, that that's probably better. Chad is not helpful here, so I could just go hide. Oh, Merlinus, I think, might not be able to get away. Yeah, he's gonna go for Merlinus. Aw, oh, that's unfortunate. Unless... Oh no, I can't leave Lot here. He might go for... Merlinus is real low HP. He might go... No, because he should kill Merlinus. 19 attack on 3 defense. Yeah. So, even if I stick him on the forest, Merlinus dies. So I don't think I can make him go for loot instead. Uh, I guess if I stick Merlinus up here then he has to go on not a forest tile. So that's something. Oh, Merlinus dodge. Good job, Merlinus. Dodge tank. So Deke can actually take two hits. That's a nice thing to be able to do. And unfortunately, he doesn't get hit. Wade can block a fort, as he was born to do. Uh, next turn, we need to be able to block the other one. Maybe we can next mage. Uh, 
this guy has a steel blade, and he'll have 1% crit on Rutger. Oh boy. Meanwhile, you deal 11. Lance only deals 8. Okay. Wolf could help out. That's good. Alright. And then Lou should be able to get into that. And can't survive two hits from this guy. Wolf can survive one hit and won't get doubled. So I just need to move Lot out of the way. And I don't think it matters a lot where he moves. I don't think he's going to be helpful down there, so... Actually, I mean, I guess he could attack. He has a chance. Well, no, I can't risk him getting hit by the counter. So, Lot will just stand here. 95 should hit. Alright, dead. Now, of course, Alan also has terrible luck. So maybe what I do is I kill this guy with Rutger. Yeah, that's a good Rutger kill. And then I move Marcus in. Ah, oh, the mage could then go for Rutger. Okay. But, so then Marcus, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he's not going to be able to get to the fort next time. If I send someone here, one, two, three, four, five, six. No. Mm -hmm. And you have a hand axe, so you're gonna get in the way. So the other option is I send Marcus over here to try to make sure Marcus can go on the fort. So... But I think then, even if I kill the mage, the brigand is gonna move up, and I won't have a way to stop him from blocking me. So, theoretically, Marcus could drop someone on the fort if I had someone rescued in, in position. But I think we're also... Okay. That could be an option. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can just kill this guy. Goodbye. So then, next turn, somebody moves in here to two-range Marcus, and then if Rutger can kill them then I could give somebody to Marcus and then he could drop them on the fort. So I just need to have someone rescued by somebody who can get to Marcus. That could work. So Boars could be a good guy to rescue somebody. Uh, I can probably set Roy on the fort safely. He's a pretty tanky guy. I want to have Rutger available to attack with. I might want to have Roy available to attack with, so I guess I could use, like, Chad to block the fort also, because Chad is not going to be useful for anything else. All right, yeah, so it's going to be the bandit going for Marcus. So I'm probably going to have to have Rutger killing edge, unless I guess I could swap Marcus's weapon. I could swap him to the hand at, uh, but it takes all of Alan's move to get there, and then the brigand just goes for Alan instead. So yeah, I think I need Rutger to Killing Edge to kill the brigand next turn. 
Or could Alan drop somebody on the court? Actually, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Alan could also do it. So if I just have Alan rescue someone this turn and then not get killed by the mate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, he'd have to be in range of the brigand, too. Alright. So, Alan, can he survive both? 20 and 16. I assume they won't double 9 and 8. So if I just give him the Iron Sword, uh, 20 deals uh, 13, and then 15, yeah, he does not come close to surviving. Okay, so we might not be able to guarantee we block the board next turn. Oh well, we can deal with a few reinforcements. I don't really want him going for Rutger, so I could, maybe I rescue drop Rutger back, if I drop him like up there, one, two, three, four, uh, he can't quite reach whoever goes, okay, I could drop him over here, that sounds alright. And then we could wait. Well, the mage, the mage will double Javelin Allen, so yeah, we'll just let the mage not attack. I could give him Roy, maybe. Roy can eat a few hits. Only two reds, but yeah, maybe I let him attack Roy. I don't know if that's actually substantially different from him attacking uh, Alan. Or attacking Rutger. But... Rescue drops are fun. Okay, and Chad, pick this in here. And I'm not too worried about the reinforcements over here. We have some guys who can go block them, but they're also just not very threatening. So right now, I guess, this bandit is just going to attack, like, Alan or... Well, actually, he might go for Lou. I kind of like him going for Lou. But I think I might like it better if he goes for Merlinus here, because then he's not on a forest. And Merlinus isn't going to be able to debate anything else useful. Oh, wait. Oh, he can get out into that forest. Well, Merlin has dodged, at least. Yep, that hurt a bit, but Roy can take two hits, at least. So we're going to try to pull off the same thing as last time. Oof. Oh, wait, and I don't have healers around anymore. Alright, that's a little bad. Are these... these are all... That's a forest. So Lance might need to rescue Walt and get out of here. Eight speed. All right, so even holding Walt, you don't get doubled, so you live. Let's get out of here. Uh, Lot also doesn't live two hits, so... He's just going to hold back here. Lou lives one hit, and you might want to go for him on enemy phase, because he has such low HP. So we'll leave Lou around so that you can do that thing. Deke does live two hits, so Deke can actually attack. I mean, actually, you're going to go for Merlinus, unless you can kill Lou. So, can I move Merlinus to where you actually got to go on planes? Well, I can send Merlinus out here. That could work. Okay. And Lou will just stay put. Alright. Oh! 
Yeah, I was not thinking. I could have given someone to Marcus. I should have had someone rescued. Oh well. Well, it's still assuming Rutger gets this kill, which would take a crit. Uh, we have 16 killing edge uses. Probably worth trying. Well, he did get the crit. Those are some good stats. So if I just set, like, hand act Marcus down here, then the brigand who spawns should want to go for him anyway. So it's not a big deal. Now, we do need to kill this mage. So. Uh, 10, take a lot in return. 10, take a good bid in return. The good thing is, since the mage attacks res, he's not that threatening to Ellen or. Well, Clarine at least lives ahead, which is more than she can say for physical enemies. Borers, on the other hand, probably gets one rounded, yeah. And maybe Chad? Yeah, Chad gets one rounded. So the other option is I use Marcus to kill the mage. Because Marcus actually has a red stat. That might be better. Let's just use the sword. Oh no, I need to do enough damage to let Roy kill. So I need 14 here. So, yeah, we don't have an iron lamp, so let's use the iron axe. Okay. That worked. Someone will need to rescue. Well, actually, if the boss hand axes Rutger, it's... I mean, he's not gonna uh, kill him. 19 plus 7, 26. Rutger has the HP. But combined with the guy from the fort, it could be bad. Alright, good. Mage is dead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, so I'd probably want to rescue Rutger back. I guess if I rescue Rutger and just stay here, two, three, four, five, then whatever way the breaking goes, I should be able to drop him on the fort next turn. I kind of like that. And we're doing okay turn rise. We have till turn 20. Here, fours can like help in rescue drops and stuff, so it's not useless to keep them around. Brigand is probably not going to advance, and you should be able to move far enough to drop off for healing. Oh yeah, we need to heal Roy. All right, healthy Roy. Level eight, Ellen. So she already has as much. Uh, or more magic than Saul. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, who did my move? Blue. And wait. Okay. Those are fine. Yep. Yep, goes for Melanus and even equips his Iron Axe. Or, no, he just throws a Hand Axe, right? He just went for melee for some reason. Yeah. Okay. Deke didn't get hit last time, so we can go for this again. Still doesn't get hit. That's pretty cool. Alright, this is not a kill, but we can just hang out here. Actually, if we move Lou back here, you probably want to go for him from the planes. 
Although then I am... Okay, if I move Lou over here... Yeah, then you want to go for him from the plains and I am in the forest. I think it will actually work out as I said this time. And yeah, I, I don't care about getting those forts because they are too far away. Okay. Can drop Wald off for healing. We can drop Rutger off for fort blocking. And, oh, you have a Steel Axe, that's, that's pretty weak if you... Uh, you're not... yeah, you're not gonna one-shot anyone. Uh, oh, Marcus can weaken you pretty well. Alright, and then, then I guess you'll get to decide who gets the kill, Mr. Bandit. Uh, can I safely... I don't think I can safely bait Dory. I want him to use his hand axe so Rutger can attack him without facing crit. But we said he has a uh, 26 attack. So... And he he has 10 speed, so he's going to double boars. So I don't have anyone who can safely live 26 attack. So we're just going to have to wait another turn to do that. But we should have time. Just wait on the fort, because I don't need to deal with guys from there. Alright, you have chosen Death by Alan. And yep, he goes for Lou, gets wrecked. Alright, let's give Deke this one. Nice. Level 8. More speed, that's always good. Now we can go join the party. And I guess I'll just have Marcus hand axe you, and then you will hand axe Marcus back, and then Rutger will be ready to do Rutger things. So someone does need to stay on the fort. I think Chad is a good candidate for that. Because he will be absolutely no use against Dory. Still going to work on this support, because it's not that slow, and it will be useful to have. Uh, actually, I guess I can do free chip. Oh, Walt does no chip damage, as expected. Walt is a weakling. Yeah, I don't think at this point I'd be in time to block those forts yet. Yeah, it's turn 15, so. It shouldn't matter. As long as we have decent luck here. Alright. So now he has hand act with it. Which means I can safely do this. 17 might, 17 hit. And Rutger can double him. Well... <laughs> I did not need the double crit, but that certainly makes life easier. You don't want to die? Well, neither did all of my units last time I played this chapter. Neither did Shanna. Weapon level increased. Alright. Well, that was much smoother than last time. We still had one death, you know, to keep things exciting. But... We did not even reach the point of seeing Dragon with the old time limits, let alone the new ones. And there's no one left on the map to route for XP, so we will just seize. Yeah, I, I, I could farm the reinforcements, I guess, with, like, D, but the XP gain is pretty small, so I don't care enough.
All right, chapter complete. And now, here comes the exciting part, where we decide what units we're using for the next chapter. So, I do not have a snazzy way to, to show you me doing this, but I'm just going to random.org, entering the names of all my units into their list randomizer, and having it spit out a random list of units. So... I will display the results in the game. Alright, so let me de-deploy everyone, and then the first nine names will be joining. So we've got Clarine. Always good to have a healer. Deke. Nice, he's a solid unit. Merlinus. Don't really need him, but doesn't hurt. Chad. That is excellent. So we will actually be able to get the chests this chapter. Uh, that will make life nicer. All right. Shanna. Rest in peace. Lance. Cool. I like calves. Whoa. Uh, okay. He can actually do something against soldiers here. They have no defense. So. Uh, Ellen. More healers. Okay, we will have... Three healers this chapter, because Saul will join. And, uh, Rutger. Oh, that, that's a pretty solid crew. Uh, yeah, no Marcus, but he's not really important for chapter six. This is where the enemies, um, get a lot weaker, because they stop getting doubled hard mode bonuses. So, this seems like a fine team. Yeah. R really, the only thing I care about for here is getting Chad. I think any other uh, team of units should be able to clear Chapter 6. But, so, I should have no trouble then getting Deacon Rutger to promo level, so I'll have them ready for, to promote when I need them. Uh, I guess we could feed some XP to Lance and maybe we'll... And we'll have lots of healing available. And, of course, we want to keep giving levels to Roy. Uh, he's not that great, but he's always around, so. All right. Well, tune in next time to, to see how it goes with this team. And then tune in the time after that for Chapter 7, which will be when it really gets fun.